Now it is 6.26, you're watching Daybreak, and in 1939, just days before Christmas, a little baby girl was abandoned on the doorstep of the Royal Hotel in Cardiff. That baby was later adopted, went on to have a family of her own, and is now a grandma. So 71 years on, Pat Fitzgerald wants to find out who she really is and to track down her real family. Paul Brand from ITV Wales tells us more. This is where I was abandoned 71 years ago. Yeah. I didn't actually find out uh, that I was abandoned here until I was 30 years old. Wow. Pap can tell the hotel manager how she was left here, but she can't explain why. She was found in the Royals lobby in December 1939. Nobody knew who Pat belonged to and nobody's ever found out. I just like to know my identity, you know, and, and I'd like to know if I've got brothers or sisters. I, I don't think my mother would be alive today. It's, it's too late. I suppose it's important, it's, it's important to know who you are, because I, I don't know. Pat waited until her adoptive parents had died before she tried to find out. Peter and Edith Ross had taken her in from hospital. She enjoyed a normal childhood just a few miles from where she was abandoned. And when Pat got a job, she actually ended up working in one of those offices right across the road from the hotel. But despite being a stone's throw away, she never managed to find out a single thing about the people who left her here. I tried Silla Black, Esther Ranson, Charlie Chester, Salvation Army. But because I was abandoned, there's nothing to, you've got nothing at all to go by. I had resigned myself to the fact that I never would know, to be honest. Now the hotel's supporting Pat's final plea for information. This plate marks her part in the royal's history. She only wishes she knew more about her own. Interesting story, isn't Interesting it? Interesting yeah. story, yeah. And we're going to talk to Pat and her daughter just over an hour's time and see if we can get some of those clues through for her so she can piece together. Yeah, wouldn't life. it be great if you know, Daybreak viewer yeah, could, uh, could help out in any way? Um, so, yeah, let us know if you can. Now, in 1939, this is an incredible and lovely mm. story, uh, just days before Christmas, a little baby girl was abandoned on the doorstep of the Royal Hotel in Cardiff. Now, that baby was later adopted went on to have a family of her own and is now a grandmother. There she is there, and here she is, 71 years later. It's Pat Fitzgerald, and she wants to find out who she really is and track down her real family, if possible. She joins us now along with her daughter, Joanne Morning. We should perhaps say your birth family, because you've got a real family, haven't you? Yes. But you just want to go back. It, it's an extraordinary story. Yes. When did you first know that you were the baby that's actually was reported in the papers at the time and quite famous. When did you know that it was you that you had been abandoned in this hotel? Um, I found out I was abandoned when I was 30. Wow. But I found out I was adopted when I was 27, three years earlier. What did you think when you um, found out? It was very upsetting because I was very close to m my mm. adopted parents. Mm. And uh, I suppose when I found out I was adopted, um, I, I didn't it was hard to accept yeah. because I, uh, I had sort of little ideas, I heard little things. And uh, so why have you waited now? Why is it now that you're going to revisit your, your past well or try it, to revisit your It's past? not just now, it's 24 years okay. ago. I did try. There were stories in the paper in Cardiff and um, I did write to various magazines but not ma and organisations and nothing came of it. And it's only now that I was involved with something that was in the Royal Hotel, that because um, they rather celebrate you, don't they? They yes, let you they come and stay with them once place. a year. You're yes. rather a famous they, person to be on their tour. We stayed there two weeks ago. Two Ooh. weeks ago, <laughs> yesterday. Good. And it was it was lovely. Yes. Yeah. So, so you I had didn't think it was all sorry, and you've had a happy life. You've got your daughter there with you. Hello. Yes, right. I, I've got four lovely children. Four lovely six, children and grandchildren. Six wonderful grandchildren. Well, it I'm like very it's lucky. Been, it's been a hugely fulfilling well, I, I life. Well, I've got a wonderful. I have got life. wonderful, yeah. you know, and I've got wonderful friends, and they are like brothers and sisters to me, you know. But I imagine anybody who's been a doctor, when there's not many people who've been through what you have, but yeah. people have something in their mind, don't they, that they want to clear up, they want to sort out where they've come from. So yes. what would you like people to do? Um, what, who would you like to come forward? What sort of things would you like to trigger in people's minds? I suppose, uh, I, I suppose my birth mother must have told somebody and uh, just 
uh, and that was probably may have been passed down and any clue at all you know would be helpful and, and, and jazz really. is something that the whole family has has got involved in and, and well yeah we're, we're you know we would like to know just as much as my mum yeah. would because she's you know she's wants some sense of belonging and find out what her roots are mm. um and somebody yeah. you know somebody must know something because yes, people talk and then keep secrets yeah. for yeah, a while yeah somebody must know now. something it's just might. an identity just to know an identity mm. you know and of course it, it's just knowing nothing at all. Yeah. I think even if somebody knows something, they, you know, they might not be sure about it. At least you can eliminate that, and you can, yeah. you, can you can check it out. But um, okay. Well, we're, we're coming trying forward. To be yeah. Really. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very clear much. Up the street. Lovely to meet Thank you. you. Thank you. And lovely <laughs> to meet you too. Yeah. Um, have you got a favourite party song? Just while while we're here. You party must have been song. to a few, Pat, party, yeah, I reckon, on, over your seventy. Uh, going you out. Me. Yeah. What's your favourite party song? I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't, well, maybe, Favorite party yeah, well, maybe we can get one a little bit later on. Yeah. You can make a request and have Tony Blackburn play it <laughs> oh, for no. you. Oh, no. All right. Oh, uh, no, she said. Oh, no. You don't mean that. <laughs> no, I do. Uh, you might be needing some summer. Michael Bolton? This week's oh, we got, sorry, Michael Bolton. Came oh, out of the Michael Bolton. Oh, yeah. oh, Michael Bolton. Oh, Michael Bolton. Oh, Michael Bolton. Michael Bolton. We'll try and get it sorted. Michael Bolton. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thanks, Matt. Here's